Oftentimes, individuals on the autism spectrum are misunderstood. Their differences are focused upon more than their similarities and abilities. At BitCon, we are highlighting individuals with disabilities and how they work, play, and contribute to society. Hi, my name is Penny Gardner. As a parent and an advocate for my son with autism, I felt it was important to share his story. People are afraid of what they don't understand. People with disabilities should be expected to work in the community. My son really wants to work. For the past six years, Brian has been self-employed, processing payments for his local township facilities. He enjoys working in Excel and is a whiz with numbers and databases. It takes him two hours to get to his job. He works five hours, and then it takes anywhere from two to three hours to return home. He never complains. He's excited every night. He figures out what he's going to wear for the next day. He makes his lunch. I never have to wake him up to go to work. He really wants to work. He really needs to work. He should contribute to society. Brian's second job is at Pennsylvania Connecting Communities, where he's worked for four years. Brian is also the star of his Zumba class and has played percussion for 16 years. Performing in the community holiday band with his family is one of his favorites. Juliet, a recent graduate, now works at the restaurant Kahuna. Though a little shy, she always enjoys spending time with her friends, particularly playing darts with her pal Kate. Hi, my name is Andrew Dooch, and I am from Gibsonia, Pennsylvania. What I like about working at Giant Eagle is, is breaking down cardboard boxes, stocking products on shelves, and to help people out. Um, roller coasters definitely interest me because I've been an, an American Coaster Enthusiasts member for six or seven years now. I do have a girlfriend, her name is Brianna. Um, I met her at when I was at CCAC North Campus at the food service program. We like to go out to restaurants, we like to go and uh, go to places. What I like to do for my future dream is to be either in a rock concert band or in a live band performing in front of an audience. One day I would like to live outside of my parents' house uh, to live independently. Andrew currently works at Giant Eagle, although he hopes to one day put his office skills to good use. When you first meet someone at a party or when you're out and about and you're trying to get to know them better, one of the first questions you ask someone is what do you do for a living? Where do you work? If a person with a disability says, I sit at home all day on my parents' couch, then that's the end of the conversation. Wendy, 47, the friendliest and most well-known face at the local McDonald's for over 27 years, loves going to work each day, but not as much as she enjoys her Pittsburgh sports teams, hanging out with her boyfriend, and her packed social schedule of bus tours, bowling, and choir practice. Hi, this is Wendy Hasek and my daughter, and uh, I've been working at McDonald's 27 years. I love my job doing um, ketchups, straws and napkins, everything. Dust, dust pan and broom, clean tables, everything. I love my boyfriend. We're great couples. I go to the bus trips with my boyfriend. Sometimes Saturday I'm going to the bowling Saturdays. Sometimes I do bells at church. We love the Steelers fan and the Penguins fan. And sometimes the Pirates. So much of our identity is wrapped around what we do for a living. Everyone needs a purpose to wake up in the morning, a place to go, feel that they're needed contribute to society. Kate, 35, 
has worked at Patton for 17 years. In her free time, Kate frequents the local pub for dinner and darts. Kate has lived on her own for four and a half years and recently moved into a new apartment. Welcome to um, Johnham Court Apartment 36. And this is called the foyer. And this is where you call the hallway. But in my awesome bathroom, which is like green. I'm in my sanctuary, my black and gold room. Famous, um, um, toy palavalu. And now this is me, and now this is, now this is me coming to the living room. Yeah, this is me coming to my new clock. And also with a new mirror. That is part. I mean, I mean, this is me coming to the fully equipped kitchen. And uh, your, 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 your sous chef Kate, which I can cook anything in here. There we are, me and um, Steve, the, the trolley. So, so, so that's a tour, any questions? Everyone has hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Help us break the stereotype of a person with a disability. If you're an employer, hire individuals with disabilities. Don't discount their abilities and presume competence. Everybody, go out and make a new friend. You'll be hard pressed to find a more dedicated and loving person. This is a real dream. And now I think this came true. This is a dream big. And this is a big dream. I've been waiting for it and now I have it. This is my freedom. Yeah, I love it.